Kevin Tan in the audience. Uh, my question is for Secretary Jokno. Uh, we've been hearing about a staggering amount of uh, ODAs that we have been getting. Um, I think it's quite record-breaking from what we hear. Uh, and with that, of course, uh, I would like to also congratulate the, the Duterte administration for uh, what I would call a historic uh, achievement uh, in that front. Uh, now, of course, with all these ODAs uh, being given to us by different countries, um, there like, there's likely a strong chance that the, the government will choose to embark on some, some of these projects on their own. Or maybe even, uh, as you mentioned, uh, this hybrid PPP. So my question is, what uh, are the opportunities for the private sector? Uh, what are the opportunities for the private sector so to come in uh, and, uh, and, and into some of these projects? Well, there's a lot of uh, opportunities. So the, the hybrid, let's talk about the hybrid. This means that the government will just choose the project We'll look for the financing, and then we will let the private sector build the project. Okay? We, the government does not have the capacity to do that. So that's number one. And then once the project is done, then it's the pr private sector again who will, who will run the project. It's like the SETEX model, right? That's, that's number one. Number two, there's uh, also we, we, we entertain unsolicited proposal for really innovative projects. Okay? We, we have opened up. Avenue, and uh, third, if you're listening to uh, Secretary uh, Kusi, the the power power energy sector is totally private sector, and we need 50 billion dollars from from now till 2030. That's a staggering amount. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, may I just add something? Um, the reason we are reversing the process in the past administration. They did the PPP from the beginning. When we examined the length of time it took to negotiate the PPP, the average time is 29 months before you start the project. So we're saying, you know, we can do it a bit faster. And first, secondly, we can also borrow money cheaper. And we can PPP the project at any stage. We can PPP it in the middle or we can PPP it at the end. Now, we have been in discussions also with a lot of the large uh, retirement funds uh, from abroad. Uh, those guys typically don't want to take the construction risk. So uh, for them, uh, they will come in after the project has been already, uh, has been already completed. Uh, we've talked to people like... Uh, uh, one fund we've talked to is the CIC, which is China's Wealth Fund. Uh, they come in typically towards the end of the project when the construction risks are already uh, passed. You know? So there's no more construction risk. So in that way, we think we can even attract more funds or you guys in the private sector can attract more investors in the, in the PPP project if we do it towards the end. So we can borrow money cheaper, we can save time in the negotiations, and, but eventually we will uh, either sell the project or go into an O&M uh, 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 method. Thank you, Secretary Dominguez. Secretary Diop.